All right, hey, welcome back to uh, Whiskey with Stu. You ever have one of those days where you're like, gosh, I need a drink, and you have a lot of those days? That might be a problem. Today, I don't need a drink. I need a tasting. It's been one of those long days, and uh, I thought it'd be fun to uh, do this, um, which sort of came to me by accident. I was at Costco, my favorite place to find interesting sp special whiskey deals now and again, usually not so often. But they had this thing, I had never seen it, from the Glen Levitt. Not Levitt, but Levitt. And um, whenever there's something kind of new and interesting in Costco that I'm not as familiar with or I am familiar with, uh, I've learned my lesson. I immediately go to the internet and I look it up and I do a quick read on it, just a real quick one. And this seemed kind of fun and interesting, uh, so I went and got it. It was $85. Um, and what is it that you want to know? Um, I was at another store and I saw they had it for 120. So there's Costco, right? All right, so these are tastings. There are three bottles of 200 milliliters each versus kind of the standard bottle of 700 milliliters, I believe is the standard. So you're, you're, uh, you're not getting the full complete bottle. Each one's little, small, and cute. See it? Little cute. All right. So what is interesting about this tasting, I don't do this too often by the way, is <clears throat> this is their Spectra series and Glenn Livet goes out of their way to make a certain, well, many of these guys do with a certain um, type, but they go out of their way to make kind of a floral, easygoing, um, space side, there's that word again, we're gonna talk a lot about space side, um, a space side type uh, uh, scotch. Okay, so what the idea, and usually they tell you exactly, not exactly, they tell you a lot about their process, what type of wood this was in, what the tasting notes are gonna be, you can read it, go, oh, it's gonna taste like that, or this and that. This is meant to be a mystery, okay? That's meant to have a party. Invite some of your friends, go get one. If you wanna try something, try it, it'll be fun. These are easy scotches to drink, okay? These are not hard. First of all, the, the alcohol by volume in all of them is 40%. So um, you taste them, you write down your notes. On the back here, there's a QR code right here. See that? Just take your little iPhone out, go to the photos. At the very top, it'll say, do you wanna to go to this website? As opposed to taking a picture, and you just click yes, and it takes you to their website, and they do this, uh, they, they, they say, what do you think this tastes like? And they give you a category of like eight or nine items, and then what percent of those items? All right, I see we're at three minutes, but that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna taste this. I'm gonna to go to their website. I'll put it on pause, go to their website and find out how close I was. A lot of times I'm off on this sort of stuff. You come back another time, it tastes different. So that's kind of the trick with scotch. A lot of people don't know what they're talking about, but over time there's some consistency. And um, sometimes if you've eaten something or you just have a different frame of mind, it's gonna taste differently. So even when you try a scotch, if you're a scotch person, you try when you don't kind of like it, Try it again a little bit later, meaning like in a couple weeks or when you're at a friend's house a month later, what have you. All right, so the first one is the 01. There we are, 01. In the interest of time, I already put in just, actually I did not, so no interest in time there. I'm gonna just put one drop of water, that's it. This is 40%, this is already watered down compared to other whiskeys. That, uh, are out there. I, I have 40% whiskeys are a bit of my, um, uh, it's something that uh, doesn't please me because they're trying to get the lowest amount of alcohol to, to create the most volume. Um, so anyway, they all look very much the same. In fact, let me show you these other ones here. So this is one, and this one is actually number three because we're on a triangle. So you pretty similar color. This one may be the most amber of them all with, gee, it's kind of hard to tell. These almost look identical. All right, so this first one, and you notice I'm not, I didn't immediately put my nose deep in there. I Alcohol, even at 40% is strong. It's got a good smell to it though. Let's give it a shot, huh? Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that is, um, that's pretty good. 
definitely creamy. Um, it had a sort of a little, I don't know if it's pineapple. It had a little smell of apple, but it might even be a little spice to it for sure. Um, there's a hint of smoke in there as well. So interesting. Let's see here. I should have done something with my palate. A, a trick for, uh, for your cleansing your palate is to take some coffee <clears throat> and give it a nice smell. Coffee grinds. Um, it opens it up a little bit. Not sure why. We may have to get Dr. Uh, Jeff back in here. All right, we're going in for number two. If I get three drops there. Let's give this a little bit of a... Hmm. Interesting. This one is spicier than that previous one. Definitely a little spicier, but even floral and maybe some toffee in there. Some pear. So they're not, okay. <laughs> We're gonna definitely have to have another discussion on smells and tastes. They're not taking pears and squeezing them in. Um, <clears throat> I'm not too prepared to talk about why you get these sort of whiffs and aromas. So I think we're gonna have to do some more research on that. I've heard lots of stuff, but I'll just keep going on and on. So I will probably be wrong. So I'm gonna have to do a little research on that for you, but it does tend to have that sort of quality to it. Which is part of the fun of whiskey, right? <clears throat> All right, let's go for the last one here. Maybe we can take a sip of water here. Oh, wow. This is uh, definitely some vanillas in here. Definitely. I mean, mm -hmm. Maybe some toffees and um, definitely some spice. Some, I don't, now my, my nose is really stimulated, isn't it? There may be some apple, apple and pear. Let's give this a shot. Mm. Spicy, vanilla. Wow. I don't know that I have any of that pineapples flavoring. Some pear, apple. Apple and pear is kind of the same. A lot of times you say apple and then you, you read tasting notes and it says pear. <laughs> so I just kind of treat them the same. Definitely some, not as much floral as I sort of detected in the other ones. But, um, and I say floral because Glenn Levitt and the number of guys up there in Speyside do a kind of an easy floral um, scotch. And a lot of people really like that. I really enjoy them um, under the right circumstances. Just easy to drink, nice. Uh, we can talk about that in another Another one as well. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause the video now. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try to tape uh, my experiences on the website through this um, this QR code I talked about, and it's gonna ask me what I like or what I think it's made of, and we'll get a score. So let's see how it is, and I'll try to splice it together on Final Cut Pro. Hold on one sec, let's proceed. The Glenn Livet Spectra is a selection of three new mysterious single malts, each a reinterpretation of our smooth and fruity house style. Immerse yourself in these mysteries to discover the hidden spectrum of flavors. Tell us how intense you think those flavors are.
This is your accuracy compared to the official tasting notes. There are still two more expressions to try. Tap next. What a delight bottle two is. But what three notes really stood out? This is your accuracy compared to the official tasting notes. There is still one final bottle to explore. Now you've tasted the creamy sweetness of bottle three, what top three notes did you identify? This is your accuracy compared to the official tasting notes. Mmm. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. So, um, what did I do? I think I did 77, 57%, and then 70%. Master, connoisseur, master. I don't know what that means. I <laughs> Sometimes I totally get into the tastings. It helps to have a guide, a professional guide. I mean, are you cheating? Sure. But, you know, it's kind of like somebody's just helping you along, helping you identify stuff. This is strong stuff. Um, it helps when you have the bottle, and there's tasting notes there as well. But it can be fun to try to do comparisons, and it's fun to sort of uh, uh, play around a little bit and go back and, and, and do it that way. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Again, that was a um, <clears throat> $85 to $115 set. It's probably a great gift. Probably a lot of fun. You can... Uh, Call up a couple friends and say, hey, you guys want to go in for 30 bucks and we'll get this thing and have a little fun for the evening. Um, and everybody can take one of the uh, leftovers home. So anyway, until the next time uh, with whiskey, with stew, it's good to see you. Have a safe, uh, safe time out there. Merry Christmas. And we'll talk to you on the other side of the weekend.